In this video, we will be assembling the Brindley Toe Behind Spike Aerators with Transport Wheels, models SA240BHG and SA240BHP. To see which model you have, check your manual or the sticker on the tray. The tools required for assembly on both models G and P are the same. 7 16th inch, 1 half inch, and 3 quarter inch wrenches and sockets, a set of pliers, and gloves. Note, the illustrations on the hardware identifier in your manual are to scale. For faster identification of hardware during assembly, use the hardware identifier on page 6 of your manual. Note, for both models SAT240BHG and SAT240BHP, step 1 is the same. Step 1. Attaching the end panels to the tray. Place the end panel onto the edge of the tray, lining up the three holes in the tabs of the end panel with the holes in the end of the tray. From underneath, pass three 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts through the tray and end panels, pointing outwards. On the outside of the end panel tabs, place one 5 16 inch flat washer on the ends of the bolts then, secure the end panels in place with the three 5 16 inch hex nuts on the side tabs and inside tab of both end panels. Step 1B. Attaching the transport pin. Attach the transport lock pin by passing it through the inside hole of the end plate on the warning label side of the tray. On the inside of the end panel, add a 5 16 inch lock washer and secure the transport lock pin in place with a 5 16 inch hex nut. Note, if you have the SAT240BHP with double toe bars, skip ahead to alternate step 2 at the 3 minute 15 second mark in this video. If you have the SAT240BHG with the extra wide toe bar, step 2 begins here. Step 2. Installing the extra wide toe bar. Line the holes in the center of the tray up with the holes in the back end of the extra wide tow bar. Attach the tow bar to the tray from underneath using two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts and securing in place with two 5 16 inch hex lock nuts. Attach the clevis to the tow bar by lining up the two holes on the bottom of the clevis with the two holes on the front of the tow bar and from underneath, passing two 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex head bolts and securing in place with two 5 16 inch hex nuts. Note, steps 3 through 6 are the same for both models. If you have model SAT240BHG, skip ahead to step 3 at the 5 minute mark in this video. Alternate Step 2, Installing the Double Tow Bars on the SAT240BHP. Align the two tow bar brackets facing each other with the holes in the bottom of the tray. Attach the brackets from beneath the tray using four 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex head bolts and secure in place with four 5 16 inch hex lock nuts. Then attach the tow bars to the tow bar brackets that were just added, lining the two holes in the back ends of the tow bars up with the two holes in the brackets. Attach the two tow bars to the brackets using four 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts in alternating directions, and secure in place with four 5 16 inch hex lock nuts. Then pass the quarter inch by one and a half inch carriage bolt through the holes in the other end of the tow bars. Add a 1 quarter inch nylock nut, but do not tighten yet. Then align the two clevis brackets on the top and bottom of the tow bars as shown and secure in place by straddling the bolt that was just added with two 5 16 inch by 2 inch carriage bolts from below. Lock the clevis plates in place with two 5 16 inch hex lock nuts And then secure the quarter inch nylock nut to the bolt that passes through the end of the tow bars. 
from this point forward, steps 3 through 6 are the same for both models of Spike Aerator with transport wheels. Step 3A, the axle assembly. Place a 5 8 inch thick flat washer onto the axle assembly and slide the axle through the hole in the end panel on the right side. Then add another 5 8 inch flat washer to the other side of the axle. Step 3B, adding the bearings to the tines. Caution, gloves are required when handling the aerator tines. The aerator tines have extremely sharp points. Please use caution when handling. Note, the nylon bearings have two small extensions and two small openings. These are designed to sandwich the tines sliding through the holes and connecting to each other. Wearing gloves, repeat this step making tine and bearing sandwiches for all 11 tines. Then slide the bearing and tine sandwiches down the axle assembly one at a time, wearing gloves and using extreme caution. Step 3C. Slide one or two washers onto the end of the axle assembly as needed to eliminate any side-to-side -side movement. Then push the axle assembly through the hole in the left end panel as far as possible. Step 4A, adding the handle assembly. If needed, dip the handle grip in soapy water. Slide the handle grip onto the end of the handle assembly as shown. Step 4B, slide the handle assembly onto the end of the axle assembly. Insert one quarter inch by one and a quarter inch hex bolt through the hole in the end of the handle assembly and the axle. Secure the handle assembly in place to the axle with a quarter inch hex nut. Step 5A, adding the wheels. While wearing gloves, very carefully flip the spike aerator over to sit on its tines. Step 5B. Attach a wheel using a half inch by three inch hex bolt. Adding a one half inch flat washer, passing the bolt through the wheel. Adding another half inch flat washer, a half inch hex nut. Then pass the bolt through the handle assembly and secure in place on the other side of the handle assembly with a half inch hex lock nut. If the wheel doesn't spin, tighten the inside nut towards the frame until the wheel spins freely. Step 5C. Attach the second wheel by adding a half inch flat washer to a 1 half by 3 inch hex bolt, passing it through the center of the wheel, adding another half inch flat washer, and a half inch hex nut. Then pass the bolt through the handle assembly and secure in place on the other end of the handle assembly tab using a half inch hex lock nut. Step 6. Attach the aerator to your towing vehicle using the drawbar pin and supplied cotter. With the aerator attached to your tractor or riding mower, pull forward on the handle assembly, pulling out slightly and positioning the hole over the transport lock pin. When the lock pin slides into the transport handle, the aerator will rest on the wheels. To shift the aerator into operating position, pull out on the handle assembly, releasing from the transport pin. For maximum aeration, add up to 110 pounds of weight to the weight tray. The ideal operating speed is three miles per hour or less, and fully aerating your lawn may take multiple passes. Alternating your direction by 90 degrees for each pass will improve the aeration effect. For questions, contact customer service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, since 1839.